Jaden Goodridge's family was getting ready to celebrate him around Thanksgiving for his 22nd birthday. Instead, this morning they are left planning his funeral after he was murdered right here on the sidewalk. As an e-bike speeds down East 149th Street, the driver unleashes a hail of gunfire toward the sidewalk, striking two 21-year-old men. Nearly a dozen shots are fired before the gunman disappears. They just don't care. These kids just don't care anymore. They don't care about their own life. They don't care about other people's life. They just, this world is just, they just don't care. That's how I feel. Jaden Goodwin was one of the victims. His mom, Jennifer, is living proof of those who do care and are directly affected by senseless gun violence. Her son is gone just days shy of his 22nd birthday. Anyone who has a bad day, if they're around Jaden, it, it just makes them feel better. Like he just has a very caring spirit, a happy spirit, you know? He just loves to smile. Though it's hard to smile these days without him around. I realized that got taken away for no damn reason. Like, literally not a reason in this world. A real sensitive soul. Jaden's one of 15 people murdered so far this year in the Bronx's 40th precinct. He was just walking with friends when he was gunned down Sunday for no apparent reason. A graduate of Archbishop Stevenick High School, he was one of the shortest on the basketball team. But Jaden's coach recalled, above skill, he had the biggest heart. Somebody you've seen grow and develop and become the kind of young man that you were hoping him to be. It's devastating. His family wants the killer to know they took away someone whose life transcended basketball. He was 10 times more than that. Like, forget about basketball. He was an entrepreneur, a clothing designer, a brother, friend, and a man who made everyone happier. At this point, detectives say there's no reason to believe that either men were specifically targeted or whether this was just a tragic case of mistaken identity. No arrests have been made in this case. Reporting from the Monhaven section of the Bronx, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Pix 11 News.